Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my planet, Pierce's planet. And I just wanted to make a quick little video because I got a new addition to the family that I'm pretty excited about and I think you guys will be too. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Sherbert. She is my new female Burmese Python. And she is just a beauty. And for those of you who don't know what a Burmese python is, they are one of the largest snakes in the world. One of the top five largest snakes in the world. So needless to say, she is going to be a giant snake. She is, her, her genetics, her genes, she's a, she's a pearl, which I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert on Burmese python morphs, but I believe a, a pearl is basically just an albino. She has these beautiful yellows and or oops, and oranges to her and if I'm not mistaken a pearl when she gets older she's gonna kind of that those oranges and that yellow is going to is going to kind of blend in with each other and just create a really really beautiful snake so the reason why I named her Pearl is because as you can tell she's got all these different colors to her she's got the orange she's got the yellow she's got hints of pink but she's not always going to she's not always going to keep that pink hue. I think that kind of fades away in pearls as they get older. There's a reason why I picked Burmese pythons over other giant snakes like anacondas, reticulated pythons, and and, and things like that. And the main reason is because Burmese pythons, as far as giant snakes go, are as close as you're gonna get to like a ball python. I mean they are they are just very 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 docile snakes generally if you handle them a lot now don't get me wrong this is the type of snake that when it gets full grown it has the potential to kill you you know a ball python you grab a ball python you get a ball python you don't have to worry about that snake killing you when you compare a burmese python to something like a reticulated python or a green anaconda or a yellow anaconda just overall, in general, Burmese pythons are way more docile. You know, my yellow anaconda is an asshole. He, he, he bites me every time I open up the cage. This girl, I have no hesitations when I reach into the cage and grab her. And that's what you want when you're gonna, if you're gonna get a giant snake, you want something that is not going to strike at you every time. You don't want an 18 foot snake striking at you every time you reach into the cage. And so that's why I chose to get a Burmese python. And as you can see, I mean, she already is just very, very personable. Just really, really chill snakes. I, Burmese pythons are so beautiful. Just really awesome snakes. Burmese pythons are probably going to get to be about 15 feet long but they do have the capability to get up to 20 feet long and to get up into the you know 200 300 400 pound range so that's just something you got to be aware of because the snake is not always intentional the snake isn't trying to eat you it could just be wrapping around your neck you put it around your neck for you know pictures or whatever and the snake starts to squeeze uh, to hold on and that could easily knock you out and kill you within minutes. I'm sorry if I'm sweating you guys, it's like 83 degrees in my reptile room right now, so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty hot, but I just wanted to show her off to you guys. You know, this is a snake that because of its size, when she gets to be full grown, um, it's probably the, a smarter idea to have somebody there with me when I'm when I when I take her out and so those are things that I'm gonna have to factor in later on she's gonna need a giant cage at some point as of right now she's in a very she's in a small vision cage and doesn't need that much space and that's one of the things about these is about these snakes is that 
you will see them in a pet store or you'll see them in a in a you know at a, at a reptile show and they're this size and you're thinking oh like you know it's the same size as a boa constrictor it's only going to get the size of a boa constrictor or you know whatever it's only going to get seven feet long eight feet long i could deal with that and then years later it turns into a 18 foot monster of a snake and you're trying to figure out how you're going to house it and how you're going to keep it so those are things that you have to factor in before you think about getting a snake like this because of their size and because of how big they get and because of that risk factor. If you have kids or you know small pets that just run around your house, you can't just let this snake free roam and uh, you know and, and just let it do whatever it wants. You have to watch it. So just things you have to worry about. I don't know. Really, it's not a care guide. I don't really want to get into it. I know I can ramble a lot, but I really just wanted to show her off to you guys. And, and show you guys the new addition to the family. I've had her already for about, I'd say about two weeks. So she's not super, super new, but she is the newest, the newest addition to the family. And I've kind of just been holding off on making a video because I wanted to care for her a little bit and make sure everything was going right before I put a video out on her. But she's been doing amazing. She's already had a shed. She, she's got a little bit of stuck shed on her, on her tail right now but she's gone through a shed. I don't think I mentioned when I mentioned the Morse. So she's a pearl and a het granite. So if you don't know what a granite Burmese python is, I'll make sure I put a picture of one in here uh, so you guys can see what that gene looks like. But like I said, I'm not a expert on Burmese python genes or anything like that. So most of you probably already know this, but for those of you who don't know, Burmese pythons are an invasive species in Florida and they are causing a huge problem right now and they are really decimating the wildlife that is out there in the Everglades. And what happened was they came from pet owners, snake owners uh, who own Burmese pythons, releasing them in the wild or a hurricane knocking over buildings and that have Burmese pythons in it, releasing all the Burmese pythons out into the wild. And the habitat out there has caused them to thrive. It's the, the type of habitat that they like and that they can thrive in. And so they've been reproducing like crazy out there. And so now they have a huge, huge, huge Burmese python problem. And the problem with having invasive species like this that get, that get released into the wild are that they kill the native wildlife and they kill the native animals and they're competing with alligators uh, for food. And so it's really, really causing a problem out there to the point to where they actually, if, I, if I'm, I believe I'm correct, they actually banned the, the, the sale and the ownership of, or people being able to own Burmese pythons. Luckily, I'm in California, that hasn't affected me yet. And you know, the problem is, is that people, will buy these snakes, like I mentioned earlier, will buy these snakes thinking they're gonna be small because they start off small and they end up getting too big. And so what do they do? Instead of you know giving it away or they don't have anybody to give it away to because it's such a, they're trying to give away an 18 foot snake. So they just release it into the wild. And you know, somewhere here, like here in Calif Northern California where I am, don't really have to worry about that too much because the weather isn't good enough for Burmese pythons to thrive. They probably die in the winter. But in Florida, where the weather is perfect, they're gonna thrive. That's a huge problem out there right now. Um, they're trying to figure out ways to solve that. I know a lot of people who are, you know, going out there and catching them themselves, and that's cool. And you know, it's unfortunate that they have to, you know, go out there and kill a lot of these snakes. You know, because you never want to see anything die. But you know, it's a it's a necessary necessary evil that you kind of have to do because they got to get rid of this problem for the native wildlife. So. Just a little backstory on Burmese pythons and their status in Florida. Lucky for you guys, today is actually feeding day. So I am going to actually film myself feeding her so you guys can see what her feeding response is, what her food response is. So far for the past two weeks, she's she's done great. She's ate very, she's a very, very good eater. So now 
It's feeding time. I know all my snakes are hungry. I'm not gonna, it's not a feeding video, so I'm not gonna show you guys all of my snakes eat, but I do wanna show you guys Sherber eat, and hopefully she'll put on a little show for you guys. So that is it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Sherbert, the Burmese python. She is just going to be amazing. She's gonna be a giant. I can't wait for you guys to see the growth on her. And just stay tuned for more to come. There's a lot more videos. Like I say every time, there's a lot more videos that I have planned for you guys. Uh, a lot more fun stuff. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to make videos on and I'll make it for you guys. I do want to take a quick second just to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel, to everybody who has shown love to this channel. I really appreciate you guys for supporting me, supporting this channel. Like I said, when I, first, when I make my first video, I'm just doing this for fun, but it feels good to know that people are watching and people are taking an interest in the things that I'm putting out there. And it really, you know, it, it makes me want to keep doing it. So I really, appre I really appreciate you all. Really appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me. And 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 keep it up. Keep sharing this stuff. Bring some more people over here, and, and and hopefully we can get some more people to come over here and subscribe to this channel as well. As always, everybody, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share this video. Bring some people over here. Let's start a conversation on this stuff. Until next time, everybody. My name is Pierce Lavalley. We are in Pierce's planet. And remember, it's all about the reps, baby. Peace.